Guys, I'm just out here recording the intro to this video. Um, this is a food vlog recipes video. Um, the things I do on my channel, I do food and recipes. Um, my book business, KB Books Presents. I do illustrations. Um, there's some other stuff I do. I can't remember. If you've seen the intro of my video, that's, that's terrible. I know it's terrible. <laughs> you see all the things that I do on this channel. But this is a recipes video. Um, I'm not professional. I say that in all my videos. Nowhere near professional. I'm never prepared. I start recording stuff. I'm never prepared. And um, But anyway, uh, this video is on fried ribs. My mom did fried ribs about three weeks ago, and they were banging. And, like, I never had fried ribs before. Like, I had ribs on the grill. You know, of course, barbecue ribs, ribs done in the oven. Even ribs with gravy. But I never had fried ribs where you fry them up nice and crispy, and then you put them in a dipping sauce. And my mom did that about three weeks ago, and they were, they were banging. And, like, ever since she's done them, I just had fried ribs on the brain. So I decided I wanted to try them myself and do them myself. And I did, and they turned out pretty good. Not like my mom. I don't care how well... I have a text message, I'm sorry. I don't care how well I copied my mom's recipes. Never as good as hers. It never turns out as good as hers. But they were good. Um, if you want to see how I done it, just... Which I did it exactly the way she did it. I didn't do nothing different. I did it exactly the way she said to do it. It still didn't turn out as good as hers. I guess when somebody else does it, it tastes better. I don't know. But just follow along the video if you want to see how I did it. And I will see you guys at the end. Alright, bye. So this pack of ribs was like $11 and some change. And it's a small pack. I don't buy ribs like that. So I don't know if that was a good price or not. Um, Y'all buy ribs like that. Let me know. To me, I'm thinking that was a little bit high. But I don't know. I use seasoned all seasoned salt. In the beginning, I show you some plain salt. I did not use plain salt. I used seasoned salt. I want to come back and um, correct that. I did just show the regular salt shake in the beginning, but that's not what I used. I used um, seasoned salt and um, black pepper. That's all the seasons that I used on this because the um, breader that's going to be used, the house ultra breader that I'm using, it is already seasoned. Like It's already got all the seasons in it that you need. Um, if you use extra seasoning along with that breader or extra salt, along, your food is going to be a little too salty now if you don't use that particular breader like if you just use flour or whatnot or if you use a different breader that don't have as um, much seasoning as house ultra did then yeah you can add whatever other seasonings to your meat that you would like to add you know if you want to add garlic powder onion powder or whatever you want to add to it um you can i just did not do that because that house ultra's uh, breader it is already pre-seasoned and you really don't have to add any extra um, seasoning to that breader and I pre-cut the ribs. I didn't show that on camera, but I prepped them and pre-cut them before I, um, I record it. And I had wax paper put down on the cutting board just so that the meat wasn't touching the cutting board itself. My mom said to let the meat sit in a bag to come to room temperature for about 45 minutes. Um, she said it helps crisp the meat up when you fry it. And she also said it helps the salt and pepper get down into the meat. And I'm just preheating the um, frying pan with some vegetable oil here. And with the preheating, I got it on high because you got to get the oil hot. But my mom said with the ribs, because you want them to come out tender, you have to fry them on like medium low heat or was it medium low? Just medium heat. What do you mean low? On um, medium um, heat with a lid over the top of them so that they would come out tender. So they, they were not fried on high heat. And I just put my bread in the bag, the house ultra bread, which I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute and just shake shake it up and got the um ribs all breaded all over and that's it that's the house ultra it's chicken breader but i bread everything with it it's chicken breader i bread chicken pork chops fish yep even fish bread fish with it yeah any kind of meat and seafood i use that house ultra breader unless i'm out and i just use plain flour but see the ribs they're all nice and coated with the breader and now we're just going to put them in the frying pan and fry them up. Oh, well. No, I didn't just put them in the frying pan and fry them up. I'll show y'all how they look nice and coated sitting in, sitting on a sheet pan. But y'all know. We're going to put it in the frying pan next and fry it up. And like I said, the frying pan is hot. The little specks you see right there, that's flour. I did a little flour test. Stuck the flour in there and see if it will bubble up just to make sure it was hot. That's why the little specks in the frying pan see. And the frying pan itself is old. You know, everybody got their old favorite frying pan. This is my old favorite frying pan. This is what I use. 
and I'm gonna just put in there, let them fry up. And you gonna see my little arm go across in a minute after I put them in there, cause I'm turning the temperature down. Cause my mom said, that's what she said, you have to cook it low and slow. Cause I usually, yep, low and slow. So the meat won't be tough when it comes out tender. And make sure you put a lid on it. The lid comes off at the very end though, just so that um, it can get nice and crispy. But that's at the very end that the lid comes off. And I flip them. Uh, my mom actually said to flip them several times on this low and slow heat. So that's what I did. Flip them several times, but I didn't show several times. I just showed me flipping it once. But she told me to um, yeah, actually flip them several times. I'm just going by what she said. And hers was banging. And these were pretty good. I mean, they weren't there. They weren't. It was actually good. It just wasn't my mom's. They wasn't. I don't know. They was when she did them. They were just woo. It was mm, on point. These were good, but they just were not like hers. In a few minutes, right before you about to take them out the fryer, um, the frying pan, you take it off and let them fry with the lid off so they can get crispy, you know, so they can crisp up. And this is what the first batch of ribs are looking like. And this is a small pack, so it wasn't a big batch. And this is what they all look like after I got them all fried up. Navy beans. Pork and beans. <laughs> and biscuits. So yeah, pork and beans and biscuit, because this is, you know, pork ribs. Ah, I know it wasn't that funny, was it? And I'm going to use some Texas Peak. My brother told me about Texas Peak and beans, and it's the bomb. I've been using it ever since. Okay, we made it to the end of the video, you guys. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, if you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button for me.